Hello guys, welcome again to my cooking show. My name is Oluchi and it's so good to have you here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this mouthwatering and yummy yum porridge. I'll be revealing some top secrets and tips on how to make the best porridge ever. The first step is to cut a round of the yam, peel off the skin and then cut into any desired sizes and shapes. There is no particular best way of cutting yam for yam porridge. Some people like it big, some people like it tiny but I prefer these not so big sizes so that the yam cooks faster. Next I'm going to slice my onions into tiny bits. Then I would wash and drain my yam, then pour in some water, about this much, then add the onions, some salt to taste. If you don't know how to measure salt easily, always start with a bit and add more later so that you don't over salt your food. And then the seasoning cubes and now mix together. I would put on my cooker, cover my pot and cook this for about 4 minutes. So now I've cooked this for about 4 minutes. Mm. The aroma guys, try. Now I'm going to go in with my dry fish. So this is another top secret. The best protein to use for your yam porridge is mangala or goat meat or better still, a combination of both. You can never go wrong with this, I promise you. I don't have goat meat right now, so I'll be using the mangala alone. The kind of taste that this adds to the porridge is so good with this one. Anyways, let's cook this for another 4 minutes. We can now go ahead and add some palm oil for some color and then I would add the grounded crayfish for some taste. Then I would add the chopped red habanero pepper and some grounded pasta seed for pepper and some grounded pasta seed for extra spiciness. I would stir the food to mix. Let me drop another top secret. <laughs> when making yam porridge, you don't even need to overdo it. The effigy should not be too much, so always keep your yam porridge as simple as possible so that you retain the organic taste of the porridge. I will taste the porridge for salt. Then I would sprinkle a little more salt to taste as desired. Everyone has different taste buds. So add salt to your taste. Then I'm going to go in with some blended parsley leaves. This is another top secret. You can either use parsley leaves, oziza leaves, scent leaves, curry leaves or any other flavored leaves. There is this very special aroma that it adds to yam porridge. You could also use ugu leaves but this doesn't add any special flavor apart from the additional nutrients that it adds and the appetizing looks as well. But all these other leaves, the magic is unexplainable. I mean you need to experience it to yourself. I will cover this and cook for another one minute and voila, our own porridge is ready to be prepared. Again, try as much as possible to keep your yam porridge simple. There are some other people who prefer to use vegetable oil and fresh tomatoes for their porridge. I did that sometimes too and the taste is good as well but this? This is how I mostly like to cook my yam porridge. Try out my recipe and drop your comments in the comment section on how it turned out for you. Ooh la la! <laughs> You can never go wrong with parsley leaves. I mean, this food is giving yummy. My friends will soon start calling for their share of the porridge once they see this video. But let me shower, rush and eat my share first because the taste of the porridge is banging. Thanks a lot for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Till next time, bye guys.